I've been looking at this for about two or three minutes and in fact it's it's not bad it's just that it needs a bit more tone working out before I start working on colour. It's a bit disjointed so the easy way to, to overcome that is by using glazes. What's wonderful about acrylics and they're wonderful compared with watercolours is that you can mix up a colour and you can um, put it on as many times as you want and watercolour you can't do it more than two or three times. So with, with acrylics you can put them on. We've, we've put on this glaze, glaze of green. Oh, it's perhaps not quite enough there. This is Viridian Green and it's one colour that Mona used. So we can feel justified in using it. We'll put it on, we'll just, we'll link, we'll link some of these, these big areas with, with tone. That's all down here. Down here, across here. Pushing it back. That's a bit too green. We'll take it a, a bit off. We'll use the old kitchen towel and we'll take, we'll take that off a bit. Now we'll put it on, take it off, but it does link it. There we go. Okay, that links out. Now, the bridge doesn't work still, it's still messy. So we need to take our small brush and we'll use the white paint and we'll go over the, the painting again with white, redrawing it. Let's try again. Now, for some reason I've missed out on these railings. There's one, one that comes underneath here. Don't ask me why I've missed it out. I didn't draw on it, so we'll put it in. Oh, I've drawn it this side, but not that side. Right, okay. Let's put that in there. Let the, let the brush drag slightly over the surface because it's all very quick, quick brush strokes with my name. Bit there, bit there, bit down there, it goes across here and, and over the top here, right. That's making, making the tone part of it working better. There's a bit of white here and a little touch here and a bit coming across here, like so. There. And a bit on here, which I sort of missed out to start with there. That's it, that'll link down to here there and like so. Right, we're going to add some cerulean blue to this. A tiny touch of purple. Now we've got it. And we'll just add it to this side because that's where all this lovely colour has come from. We're going to start working on a bit of colour up to now. It's been toned. Now it's the, the colours, the colours time. And we'll add that, we'll add that. And we'll put that, let me say, a bit more cerulean blue, I think, on that. No, we'll change that with ultramarine blue, that's what I meant. Right, ultramarine blue. And we'll put it underneath there. That's gorgeous. Drag it across. And all underneath this is ultramarine blue, this mix we've just done. It. There's also that's that's very really good. So this is a bit darker here too. So we'll put that a bit darker down here, and there, and there, and a bit on top of that, like so. There. There's no other blues on there, but there are some blues on here. So we'll add add those in little marks. There's a bit of blue there. There's some nice bits of blue on top of the lilies pads here, forming that. That's quite nice. Certainly some blue, blue mix on this. We can add, add these things so it looks like they're floating on the water. Certainly there's, a, there's some light coloured blues here. 
they join up to the ear and there's one there floating on the water and some here. Just that little bit of colour makes all the difference and we'll do, we'll make even bigger difference by adding a bit of green for this. So we've got this green here and we'll mix it with the, with the blue we've just done and a bit, a bit of white. That'll give us some more lily pad structures. These dabs of colour, I think, as I mentioned before, Marnie would have carried on doing this for some time. Pretty well, I'm pretty well certain he painted this picture in a day. I doubt if it lasted longer than that, but he would have enjoyed constantly painting over and over and over the same area, yellow and a bit more white. Let's see what happens there. I'm going to use a drawing brush on that bridge. Just by looking at it, it needs drawing. It needs just a bit more drawing. So we're going to use this purpley colour. Some Viridian green, a bit of red. I'm going to try and make a very dark tone. Uh, this, this has got to be drawn in. I'm drawing this with a sable brush. We'll just, we'll just redraw that bit, that little bit lumpy. It's a bit too dark. We'll make it lighter with that's better. We'll put a bit of light, lighter mix with that. And we'll just redraw this. This is... That's better. That's better, 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 better. Oh, where are we? There we go. I'm going to, before I finish, just add a bit of light, light yellows into some of these things, just to add a bit more colour. We'll just add a bit of yellows in here, just to look like the sun's hitting these these pads, which is exactly what it is. There's a pad, oh, a bit strong, never mind, we'll leave it. Um, that, that just to bring the light source through. Um, there's a light source in there, there's one coming down here. There's certainly some light, light bits coming in here which we can add. And that just gives it a little bit of feeling that you've got some light coming through. A bit more colour. Um, there's, there's some... Can you see what I'm doing here is just adding this sunshine. It's the sunshine bit, it's so important. And it's not a lot of work to do. It's just that it just adds a little two, one or two flicks of, of colour and interest to the picture. As uh, what Money would have done, he would have spent time, obviously, doing this, but more time than I've got. But he would have enjoyed it because he's looking there where the sun's catching the top. There's a there's a, there's a light area here, which certainly comes down here. Um, there's one here, not there. Um, there's some light area here I've missed out. We just, it's a bit, a bit yellow perhaps, but I just, we'd add some more white to that. Just adding a, a thick 
dragging paint across the top. It's the texture. This, this soil painting that you did is pretty thick. Um, and because it is, it's got this texture which you can't really get with, that's that joins on there, I didn't see that before. You can't really get um, with acrylics because they don't work quite the same way, but they, they're not far off. I wonder what Monet would have thought of acrylics. I think he would have liked them. I think he'd have enjoyed doing them, he'd use them a lot. But they weren't around when he was around, so we'll never know to know. Right, just one more little touches. I could carry on for a long time with this, working on these little bits. Dab, 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 dab. Time doesn't allow that, I'm afraid. But I just had a, just one or two little more bits of white on the water lilies, and we'll call it a day. And I'll just add some one or two little bits in there, just just to, just to give it. So I'll bring out these one. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. There's one here, which wants a bit bringing out. Just bring out one or two of these lilies, and we'll call it a day. No more. No more. Um, yes. Yes, and a little bit of white up there. There we go. Well, there you are. There's the finished picture. Um, you can carry on yourself, dabbing away, putting on different colours, building up the textures, building up the tones, and building up the colour. But there's limited time for me to show you that now. But I'm quite pleased with it. It works reasonably well. Uh, it's, it's quite lively. It has some quite nice colours and tones working in it. And um, I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration. And um, I hope you will try many of the ready-to-paint money images. And for me, Noel Gregory, it's goodbye. now available to buy. Try these techniques at home whenever you wish. The extended DVD of today's workshop and the book that accompanies this series are now available from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.